Hi, this is Becky Benner Carr with Bubble Scribe, a creative memories consultant. And we are here today with pin number two. Um, I'm doing it with the frame punch. Today, what we need are a base. So I have this yellow or this pink cardstock, one piece of double sided paper. Need your zero centering ruler or a ruler, scissors a frame punch. Now what I mean by frame is you'll see here it has this line so it goes corners to make a frame on the outside. Some of them do inside as well. So we need that. I'm going to use the damask florist punch. You do need a pencil with an eraser and one thing I suggest you do <laughs> before starting this is to check and see on the corner of your paper if your eraser smudges your um, double-sided paper at all because we are going to be writing on it and erasing. And today I'm going to use a Disney picture. Um, for this technique, we'll use one to two pictures for your spread or maybe you'll find some other way to use it. All right, so You are going to use the lighter side or whichever side you would see the pencil marks the best. And we're going to take our ruler, again I'm using the zero centering, and we're going to first divide this into quadrants. So I'm putting it here at the six, and I am just going to draw a straight line down. And I'm not pressing too hard. I just want to be able to see the mark. Hopefully you can see the mark as well. I do have handouts on the blog, if that would be helpful. Now from here, we are going to use the 45, which just divides the quadrants. So we're using this line here going from the corners to the center. Unless you have a really cool ruler that does the entire thing. All right. So from the center, following along that line, and this will help us do the wedges. the four quadrants and then they are divided in half. Don't put away your pencil yet so you're just putting that off to the side. And now you're going to take your frame punch. Now with the frame punches you want to start and put the edge of your paper along this line here. There are four current frame punches with creative memories. There's the um, this Damas Flourish. There's the Geometric. There's a Double Arch. And then there's also a Spider Web one, which I do not have. And so I'm just moving this down. You're going to do two punches on each side of the quadrant. So there's this quadrant here. I did two here. I'm gonna turn it again, putting that little square there. And I'm sorry if the camera shakes as I punch. So 
So you're going to do two punches on each side and you're just going to rinse and repeat. So take out your ruler again and you are going to put it on the corner of your punch and you are going to draw a straight line. And then I put the zero on that and along that 45 line I'm going to measure up an inch and a half and just mark and do it to both sides not just both sides all four sides Again, just put that off to the side. And you are going to need your scissors. And you are just going to cut across to get the corner off. Hopefully you can't hear the crazies outside my door. My boys are taking down the lights. And then you're gonna cut up to that inch and a half mark. So then we can fold and have this very cool corner. So again, just repeat. If you want, you could cut this off if that would make it easier. So four corners. So now we are going to work on our wedges. And for these, these wedges are just going to be here on the side. So again, with our punch, we are going to Start with this quadrant. We're gonna put this line. This is a 45 mark. And we are going to slide it in and line it up if you can see here. So 
So our 45 line is going to go at this end. And then I'm going to do one punch. I'm going to move it down. And again, you're gonna line it up. So you can line it up like a punch again, or it should also line up if you don't move your paper around too much with that line. So this edge is gonna be on this line. All right, and then going to center this just because it helps me think <laughs> with a little centered. I'm going to draw a straight line down so each punch is two inches. I'm going to draw a straight line down and I knocked it. And a straight line down to that quadrant line. So now I have the star or the heart shape. That's what I like to think of it as. I'm gonna cut there. Cut to the center. And do the other side. And there I've completed my wedge. I'm just going to pull that apart. And now you just repeat. So again, lining it up. Punch. Punch. Grab my ruler. With all these lines, you can definitely tell when things are off center. Straight down to the line. shape from in between. At least they look like arrows to me. So cut in here. Taking out here the base. I'm going to adhere these here. These go in the corners. And 
and there you have a page. So go ahead and take your tape runner, pop these down, and thank you for watching. All right, so I have a little bonus here for pin number two. And for this one, you'll notice that it creates a great frame for one picture. Maybe you could do um, some small ones here, like a two by two, or you could put um, circle pictures here would be cool. However, it's really just one in the center there, unless you wanna cover up your frame. I'll have to start looking for pins that sort of go around that. So what I decided and tried to do then is to figure out how to make these wedges a little smaller to open up more of the center of the page. And here's what I came up with. I showed you this paper here with the punches. I'll take my pictures out. And I discovered and researched that the size of each one. So with the current punches, there's about a cut that goes about one inch deep. And then there's a little bit more give for each of the three. So the geometric comes down really about an inch and a quarter. This from the center comes down about an inch and a half. Whereas the dollop, or I'm sorry, the double arch is only an inch and an eighth. And that is going by this. So this is sort of the punch poop there. So what I decided to do was I am going to show you how I cut down, basically cut down the wedges. So I took this side down, I moved everything down about an inch-ish to create a smaller wedge. So you're still going to do cutting across up here. But there's a few more measurements you're going to do. So a punch is two inches, each one. So additional step is you are going to take your zero centering ruler And you are going to measure or draw the line where is two inches. So here, let me lift it up a little bit more, or I'm gonna try to zoom in. Okay, so my zero is here and I have two inches on each side, so I can do a punch here and a punch here. And you're just going to draw the line. Now you also have to consider the punch itself. So you are going to measure up from that line. So I'm gonna put the zero on here and I'm going to measure up and mark one inch from that line all the way across. And that is going to be the top of my punch. So now I can from here to here. All the way over. And I'm gonna cut that off. trash. So 
on this Goose Around Punch. So now again, here's my line. And that is going to be the edge for the punch. scissors to cut off the wedge. And there you have a smaller wedge. So you went from this larger wedge to the smaller one. So you basically gave yourself about two inches more on each side. And you just rinse and repeat. So hopefully that bonus helps and gives you a little bit more space to scrapbook on the page. Again, thanks for watching. And I hope you comment or are able to create your own page and let me know. Thanks again.